All right, guys, today I am out here in the Dallas location, out here in Grand Prairie, Texas. And we're gonna look and see what we could maybe possibly get our hands on today. So uh, let's get into it. I'm gonna apologize for the wind noise if there is any uh, already. I've, I've killed the batteries on my GoPro. So today we are on the iPhone 12 Pro max that's what it is and we have a few vehicles we're going to look at today and then we're going to get into the live auction and do some bidding and we'll see uh see what we come up with how about that so first things first you know i'm going to look at crazy stuff we have a porsche Panamera, okay. Porsche Panamera, 116,000 miles. The back end took a hit maybe. It's looking that way. Yep. They have what looks like a clothes hanger holding up the rear end. All right. All the cables and stuff are still there though, so that's good. It is an S, I do see quad tip exhaust. Maybe it's an actual turbo, but you know, people be up badge and stuff, so you never know. It's clean though. Man, it's clean. I always like these Cayennes, man. I had one, if you've been following me for a long time, then you know. Um, but I had one of these and it was probably one of my favorite SUVs, man. I really enjoyed it. Cause it was fast, like a sports car, but it could also be, you know, it wasn't like you were taking it off road or anything, but it was also a decent, a decent you know suv like you could do stuff with it take it to the beach you know god just the leather seats i don't know i just like this color too for leather porsche just has i don't know maybe that's why they have a good design team they design phones and cups and all kinds of crap because their uh des you know design team that they have is great that's probably why audi stepped up and you know because porsche is owned by audi and both you know volkswagen but that's probably why the whole Volkswagen group, like their design has stepped up since, you know, acquiring Porsche. Putting that Porsche design into some of these other vehicles. Let's go ahead and pop the hood and see if it's really a Cayenne S or if it's a up badge BS. Four point five V eight. It's not the six. It's a beast. Now, yeah, nope, that's it. It's legit. It's an S. All right. Cool. I don't know. The damage to the rear of that does not look devastating. It could be something I could probably work out. Let's look and see what it goes for. And we'll go from there. All right, next we have a Dodge Ram with the 5.7 Hemi. Y'all know I love my 5.7s. Um, this one only has 17,000 miles from it. And the loss type is a rear end. And as we get back here, you can see they had already started doing the body work to the vehicle. Look at this. They had body filled this whole corner and was already starting to sand it. But you can see this here, you know, like the little lines, like you would still have to sand that smooth, but they had already did a lot of the body work. You can see where the skin around the bed had been removed on the bed. Cause I guess the, you know, the under part of it was still fine. The back window, is out but all of the parts like so you can see the trim and stuff around here are in here everything everything you need to finish it or put it back together is in here all of the parts the bumpers all of it it's all sitting inside the cab so it's basically a brand new truck i mean yeah it was damaged but most of the work is already done Seventeen thousand miles on it and it is a 19 you know we got the capless system here for the fuel so you're definitely gonna have to fix, I'm guessing, yeah. So this tack welds here, 
I put the little tacks in there and then you can screw it all together and put the skin of this side of the bed on. And then when you, when you do that, you should be good, I think, right? I mean, I see the exhaust pipe is hit or whatever, but it's not. You could reattach that, re-anchor that. I don't think this thing is really done. I, I don't know why you'd do that much work to fix the bed when you could just replace the whole bed. But maybe they were trying to save money and they just got to too much. And the insurance company said, no, total it. That's probably my guess. That's probably my guess is they got too high on the monetary value and they said no total it get it out of here um and that's what happened with it but i mean it's it's basically a brand new truck they already did all this for you you know you just got to sand this up and you'd be good yeah 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 well what do you guys think in the comments let me know all right. All right, we got another Mustang over here. I see the Tally. I see the Challenger over here. But it's a, is it an RT? It says RT. Wait a minute. We got a Challenger RT right here. What's going on with this guy? Huh? It's got the 5.7 Hemi in it, 18,000 miles. It's a 19, it's a Hurt, it's from Hertz. Oh, I know what it is. Uh, somebody rear-ended it. Oof. Ouch. Oh, 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 my heart hurts right now. <laughs> Damn. How do you do that though? How do you do that? Yeah, you bent the axle and everything. Like you, woof. Woof. I don't know what you hit, but you hit it hard. I hope you had the insurance option. I mean, it hurts is bankrupt. I mean, oof. Oh. Well. Ouch is all I could say about this one. Let me know. I bet the power plant's still good. It's only got 18,000 miles on it. It's basically like a brand new motor. So, yeah. Does it have the new tube lights? Oh, does that only come on the sketch? Because I got, I got that on mine. Yeah, nope. All right. All right, let's check out the next one. We have a 5.0 Mustang here. Cause you know, Mustangs do what Mustangs do. Somebody wrecked it here in the front. 15,750. I know y'all be like, TK, why are you talking so much crap about Mustangs? You used to have a GT350 and you used to have a performance package. I, you're right. I did, but I wisened up. I got smart. Damn, you got spares on the whole front? You must have hit something. This gotta have undercarriage damage or something. Cause you got two spares on the front. But the front looks okay, but I bet you it's got undercarriage damage. Also a Hertz car. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, nah. It's a rental car too. Somebody dogged this out. Lost front end, I bet. But it's got to have undercarriage damage. I ain't hearing that. And it's an automatic. Say it with me. Do, 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 do. Wah. I want an automatic. This, it does have a 5.0 though. It is the one benefit. It does have a 5.0. So, I mean, I guess that's positive. All right, let's keep looking and see. No, no, no. No Volkswagen. <laughs> yeah, like, no. Let's keep looking and see what we find. Da, 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 da. I love the pavement out here as opposed to having to walk on the rocks, which you will do when you get all the way out in certain areas. But I love the pavement as opposed to the dirt and the rock ones. Now, I know some of y'all might say, what about this one, TK? Why don't you take a look at this? 
or try to scoop this up. And uh, I just don't see the benefit of doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, why? But, eh. All the parts and stuff that you're going to need, the headlights and everything are in here, so that's not bad. Let's take a look at the rest of it. Maybe I'll look at it. GLK 350. Not really a G class SUV fan, man. You know, not the GLK. Huh, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. All right. We're going to keep it moving and see if we see anything else up here of interest. Oof. Wow, that Malibu has seen better days, but I mean, the suspension is bent out. The front end is hit. It's got 58,000 miles. I think you could effectively say it's done. Oof. Ouch. Ouch to the ouch, ouch. Now this Ram, here's another Ram. This is the new joint. It's from Hertz. It's got the 5.7. It's a 19. And it's got side damage, it says. Oh, it's got the fake big display. It doesn't have the big, big display, but it's got the normal size big display. So that's a win. Airbags are deployed on that seat and that curtain over there. So that means I'm afraid to see what happens as we walk around. I can already see that that's not lining up. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it every single time. But you know what, though? I mean, that's serious damage. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> get, it, get it twisted? That, no. I mean, that's serious damage, but it's not unfixable. You could hook this, pull it out, pull this out, you know, the bed, just so it clears the, the tire, and probably fix... I guess you'd have to pull that out to fix the door, huh? Just make it where the door's closed. I wouldn't even, you wouldn't even have to make it pretty. I mean, you could just make it a work truck and dog it out. You know, it's already been wrecked, so who cares? You know, use it for your landscaping business or something like that. Or if you really want to invest the money, which it's not worth it, to be honest, it's a base model Ram, you could, but it's got all this damn parking sensor. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. You guys let me know what you guys think in the comments. All right, let's see. Anything else of interest before we call it a day? Twenty four thousand ninety on that suburban cracked window. I bet you this whole side is just obliterated, right? Oh, how do you do that? This is what I want to know. How? I just want to know, like, Jesus. This is one of them points where y'all be taking that Jesus take the wheel stuff way too serious, man. No, man. That's crazy. That Suburban is, say it with me, finished. Take a look at this Tahoe. Is this Tahoe the same way? No, it's just down like four flat tires. Oof. Oof. Ouch. Crumple zones for the win. Oof. Oof. Got a Malibu up here, or an Impala, I mean. Hail damage. Hail damage. It says rear end, but it's got hail damage too. And this one's from Hertz. 
another rent a car. I don't see any rear end damage. Do you? I think they mislabeled that. 39,000 miles. Leather slash cloth seats. Mileage is right too. It's clean. This would be a de decent little pickup car. I mean, it's got hail damage. I mean, I can see the hail damage all over the roof. And then you can see, I don't know if it really comes out, but you see the ding here. Like it's got little hail dings all over it, which who cares if it's just a daily driver, who cares? You know, like it's a good car. You could buy it, clean it up, use it as your daily driver, get to and from, and it's not going to look bad. And you know, it's not someone's going to be looking directly at it, trying to find hail dings. Who cares? Who cares? 39,000 miles, and I guarantee you, because it's a rental car, it's going to be cheap. Damn, it's got hail damage on the side. Woo. Ding, 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 ding. Look, hail damage right here. But you know what, though? Because it's listed as a rear end, the people that would be doing sight unseen trying to buy it, you could scoop them. This is a car that you could scoop them on, and you could end up, end up getting a good... Uh, a good return on your investment. I mean, it is a rented car. It was beat on for 39,000 miles. But if you're buying a car thinking, I'm going to buy this car and, I, and and you have the set expectation that I'm going to get 80,000 miles of life out of this car. And it's a decent car. It's a nice, it's a, de it's a Chevy, it's a Chevy Impala. It's a decent car. Then this is not a bad pickup. But it all depends on if people are going to overbid the crap out of it. So we'll watch it. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, but I think that's a hell of a deal. I mean, that's, that's, I love hail damage cars. All right. Is there anything else before we get out of here? Nope. Say it with me. Toasty. Damn. Uh-oh. Look at this. A Ford Focus RS. It's got the Brembo brakes. Stop. It's got 37,000 miles. I'm trying to be serious, but I can't. It's got the custom fart can exhaust. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, it's got the hitch. I don't know why you would want a hitch on a... Oh! I did not... I swear I didn't see that from the front. But now I know why it's here. Oh, when you get your shit pushed back, ouch. Oof, that sucks. That sucks big time. Yeah, I mean, I've seen people do them though. You could fix it. You could, you could repair it. It's not unrepairable, but it, it, it ain't gonna be cheap. Huh. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the walk around portion of today's video. Now we're going to go ahead and go in, get into the live auction, and let's see what some of these cars are going for uh, out here on the yard. And uh, maybe, just maybe, it, we might be able to pick up one of the ones that we're looking at. So let's see what happens. Sold on approval. Sold on approval. Bonus time. This is a hot lot.
Sold on approval. Sold. New bidder. This is a hot lot.
bonus time. Sold on approval. End of auction.